Hello everyone, my name is Yusik Miner and welcome back to another episode with uh, yeah, UCN Let's Play Survival uh, World. So today guys, uh, I have a little bit, um, or a little bit, I have a kind of big plan in front of me and I'm searching now for a space to build a mansion. So my plan is to build a really big mansion. I have uh, been building this world and it has been, yeah, it has been uh, a great time, I have to say. I have built a lot of buildings off camera, so I haven't really recorded anything these last days or weeks, if you can say like that. So the house should be close by here, let's see. I know I have a house around here that I built in a flower biome. Yeah, so like I said, I think I forgot what I said. <laughs> uh, never mind. So the house should be here in the flower biome. Yeah, I haven't made an episode this last day, so sorry for that. So let's see. I recognize this place. Yeah, it's the same village there, so this direction we should find the house I made. Yeah, I recognize this. Awesome. So there's the house. Yeah, so... Uh, if I'm not wrong, we should have a jungle biome over here. And... Uh, it would be kind of cool to build a mansion in between the jungle biome here and uh, I think that's a plain, what do you call it, plain biome. Yeah, so we're in between a flower biome and a plain biome. It would be really cool to build a house there, our house, a mansion, big mansion. So yeah, this is the house I made before. Kinda awesome, I have to say, I like it. Uh, this is the house that I really uh, refine my skills. I noticed that I really got some awesome skills now. <laughs> yeah, I know, thinking high of myself, but seriously, this house is awesome. So, yeah, we should be good to go and start building this uh, mansion. So we need to find a flat area, if not we have to make a flat area and it has to be pretty big because if I'm not wrong a mansion has to at least be 20 by 20 or something like that. I can't imagine it be any smaller, do you call it a mansion if it's smaller? Maybe, maybe not, I'm not expert on this but uh, we have to see, it, uh, it has to be first time everything so this looks like a nice spot but it's not a big enough for a small house maybe but it's not big enough maybe on the other side here we have a lot more space look at that uh, that's the awesome part about this we have a lot of bamboo so my plan is to take some uh, pandas in the future make some panda farm i haven't really played around with the any pandas uh, so that would be kind of cool to try it out slowly but surely we will try out everything in this game it's always a l what do you want why, why are you running around he's so funny enderman so yeah let's see this area okay guys so uh, what we are doing now is to flatten out this area around here <coughs> excuse me um guess we just take away everything here, make it in the same level. We'll be a little bit grinding, so yeah, I guess I can do that off camera. It's a little bit too boring to watch me uh, dig on uh, 
grass blocks or dirt blocks so yeah see you soon guys see you soon okay so we're done digging up this area placing out all the sugar boxes and we're going to get ourselves a parrot oh sorry 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 hey hey come here come here hey you're my friend now okay sorry come here mr parrot we will name you later <laughs> he's sitting on my shoulder so yeah we should uh, we should like i said yeah i placed out all the sugar boxes here and we're going to uh, level this area the same uh, size or what do you call it same level got a bunch of holes here so all that excess material or dirt we have now can use that to elevate this area so yeah it's just a bunch of grinding to do here uh, so i'm uh, playing with my mind at the same time i'm filling these holes uh, playing with the thought of what kind of material am i going to use for this build so i'm thinking about um, because this is germs texture pack an awesome texture pack I recommend people to use it you can just see from your uh, this view when i'm gaming that uh, that the textures are unique it's one of a kind and uh, we're happy in, or we're happy uh, we are lucky i mean that we got uh, such a good uh, artist or what you call that uh, that's good at making textures so yeah many thanks to you germs uh, so uh, done uh, thanking him now and back to what i said what we're going to use is some spruce i guess and uh, some smooth andesite and smooth andesite is not really smooth andesite anymore it's more like brick andesite so if you don't know in this texture pack uh, granite, diorite and uh, andesite uh, have the same uh, kind of shape if you say like that uh, they all looking like cobblestone when you dig it from underground and uh, when you transform it into smooth granite, uh, andesite and diorite it uh, looks like a brick so it's more like a brick shape and uh, yeah, so we place it like that. We should go get the andesite first. So let's see. I have a ton of shulker boxes everywhere. So we, yeah, we have some there. Um, let's check this out. Somewhere here we should have a bunch of andesite I collected because, yeah, somehow it become really my favorite block to build with. And not only that, uh, seriously, I never liked diorite before, but honestly, in this texture, diorite looks more like quartz. Uh, it has an awesome clean texture, so what can I say? I start to like diorite. <laughs> yeah, shakta. But that's the thing, this texture really transforms all the blocks into some unique uh, colors much easier to blend uh, with these kind of textures I think so let's see in this box yeah and the side okay awesome as you can see it looks like cobblestone but in different color so there we have the bricks awesome awesome so let's see we should uh, one two three four and then spruce log and one Hey, what's that? I think I heard a creeper somewhere around there. Where is that creeper? I don't want the creeper up in my ass when I'm uh, grinding and building. You know, the, the, that's the worst kind of mob that exists in Minecraft. I really dis... I dislike, hate, <laughs> hate the uh, creepers. Always destroy my builds. So, let's see. If we are lucky enough to find that bastard, excuse me for my language, uh, so I guess you're not around here. 
My pervert tells me that you are close by, but I can't see you. So I wonder, I wonder, are you underground here somewhere? Yeah, I bet you are. So maybe underground, that's the place. Because these pervers can really detect them. Uh, I guess, I don't know how far away they detect them. Maybe 15 blocks or something like that. I'm not sure, I'm just uh, guessing around 15, 20 blocks somewhere like that. So yeah, we're going to use uh, four uh, bricks, uh, blocks, whatever we call it, and uh, one spruce pillar. And that's how we're going to shape this uh, mansion. And uh, yeah, so that's awesome. When time goes by, we're going to uh, make this place uh, pretty awesome and uh, yeah, some cool basement and stuff like that. I will finish this off camera and maybe sleep this rain away and I'll see you soon guys. So uh, just a little time passed by and I'm pretty much done with the shape now. So I guess we're going to put some uh, concrete powder and yeah keep doing that the log pillars uh, spruce log pillars so I guess uh, we're going to do like this we have the um, like the what do you call that uh, and the sites more than the site uh, bricks is that what we can call it now with this texture we have that as the base level like um, um, I forgot the name for it uh, we have that on the ground level and we're going to use a wall with uh, concrete powder. We have to see that later, so yeah. Okay, uh, I noticed that I were out with smooth stone, so we're going back now to our hometown and get, uh, or get, we're going to use our super furnace. Not really super furnace, I've seen more crazy furnace like Ito's, Ito's Ito place, you know, his LP survival world, he has a crazy super industrial furnace, like, whoa, you smelt the one stack in two seconds, I really want to build something similar, we have to do that around in the mansion area. And by the way, if you wonder uh, how uh, I got that idea about the mansion, you know what, we have to refill this first. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, how I got that idea with the mansion. Um, it's like if you watch uh, the guy called Dallas Made. Dallas Med, that's how you pronounce it, I guess. He has that uh, awesome big mansion. He's slowly expanding years by year, so he had play on that uh, uh, world. For at least uh, four or five years so yeah it's awesome it's really awesome and that's what inspired me to do this mansion now so yeah that's kind of cool so get some sugar cane awesome need some more rockets okay guys we're back now we got the smooth stone let's add that stuff around here I guess we're going to make the whole floor of smooth stone. That's kind of awesome, I guess. But uh, I have to place out some blocks like this and check that out. If not, I'm going to do this off camera because stuff like this can take time for me. I'm really like... Uh, I want it to look really good, especially when I do a big build like this. Not. Uh, not something that you stress, but let's place some blocks around here and see how it looks like from a distance. And yeah. Hello, piggy friend. You're here to take a look. I'll be right back, guys, and you can see this build uh, from uh, a different view. 
so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this episode i hope you like it and as you can see i have made a different shape i use smooth stone on the edges and yeah planks in the middle but i hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you so much for watching subscribe and like and i will see you next time bye bye